welcome students in present video i am going to explain about 16th problem from consignment accounts topic i am taking this question from telangana state telugu academy inter second year accountancy test book so but this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about consignment accounts topic previous problems videos links are available in the description box let us see the question first arun sent 100 swing machines on consignment basis to tarun The cost of each machine was three hundred rupees, but the consignor prepared the pro forma invoice at twenty five percent above the cost. The company spent eight hundred rupees on various expenses. After receiving the machines, Tarun had to spend nine fifty rupees for freight and one thousand one hundred rupees for go down rent. By the end of the year. Tarun sold 80 machines at the rate of 410 rupees per machine. He was entitled to a commission of 5% on sales. Prepare necessary accounts in the books of Arun. This is a question. Let us see the solution for this. Arun is sending sewing machines to Tarun on consignment basis. So Arun is consignor, Tarun is consignee. Consignor consignee areas names are not available here. So hundred swing machines are sent by consignor. One machine cost price is three hundred rupees, and consignor sent at invoice price. How invoice price is fixed? Twenty five percent on cost. To send these goods, consignor incurred eight hundred rupees expenditure. So consignor expenditure details are not available. Expenditure name is not available. Consignee sold. 80 machines at the rate of 410 rupees each so total sales amount is 80 machines into 410 rupees 32800 to sell these goods consignee incurred freight expenditure 950 go down rent 1100 rupees so consignee's total expenditure is 2050 consignee is entitled to a commission of 5% on sales Sales amount is thirty two thousand eight hundred. No, on that five percent, thirty two thousand eight hundred into five by hundred is equal one thousand six forty. So we have to prepare ledger accounts in the books of Kanzaina. This is the question. Heading ledger of Arun Kanzaina. So he prepares three accounts. No, Kanzaimen account, Tarun account, Good Sent on Kanzaimen account. So Kanzaini series name is not available. So here. We have not added any areas in it. So consignment account is a nominal account. So nominal account rule: debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. We should follow here. Think from consignor's point of view. First, what happened? He sent goods. Debit side, we should show that. What to write for that? Two goods sent on consignment account. As invoice price is given in the question. We have to show the invoice price of these hundred machines. Cost price is available now. One machine cost price is three hundred. So first, what we do? Hundred machines cost price we calculate. Hundred machines into three hundred rupees each is equal to thirty thousand. In previous problems, he used to give thirty thousand directly, but here. One machine cost he has given. That is why we multiply that with the quantity. Total quantity sent hundred machines. Thirty thousand is the cost price. And invoice price. How he is fixing on cost price twenty five percent. So thirty thousand plus on thirty thousand twenty five percent. Three hundred into twenty five. Seven thousand five hundred. Seven thousand five hundred plus thirty thousand, thirty-seven thousand five hundred is total goods invoice plus. Next, to send these goods, consignee incurred expenditure no eight hundred. Expenditure in consignee take out debit side we should show. For consignee's expenses, we should write to bank. Means our exemption is through his bank account he is paying this expenditure. Next, come to sales. Kanjani sold eighty machines at the rate of four ten each. Total sales amount thirty two thousand eight hundred. 
say is income income credit side it appears 32800 who sold these goods tarun so his name we should write by tarun account in bracket show the calculation 80 machines at the rate of 410 rupees each next to sell these goods consign incurred expenditure no two expenses need not to show separately total amount 2050 one time we should write where expenditure no debit side 2050 whose expenditure this is consign is expenditure so write his name to tarun next come to commission for consignment business this commission is expenditure no debit side only so who we have to pay this expenditure commission to tarun so his name only we should write show the calculation on sales we should calculate sales amount 32800 on that 5% 1640 next come to unsold stock value calculation 100 machines are sent consign is sold 80 machines so 20 machines are unsold that a 20 machines value we have to calculate heading unsold stock value cost of unsold stock so we have 100 machines cost with us no you know when invoice price is given while calculating unsold stock value invoice price of total goods only we should consider so total goods invoice price is 37500 we want 20 machines invoice price because unsold stock is 20 machines only so on 100 machines if invoice price is 37500 on 20 machines how much this is the calculation 37500 divided by 100 into 20 37500 into 2 7500 to this direct expenses of consignor and consignee proportionate direct expenses of consignor and consignee we should add proportionate direct expenses of arun consignor on 100 machines arun expenditure is 800 rupees this one so arun expenditure name is not given in the absence of proper information consignor expenditure is direct expenditure means we should consider it while calculating unsold stock value so calculation is on 100 machines if expenditure is 800 on 20 machines how much so 20 machines value only we are calculating now so we should not take 100 machines cost there 20 machines consign our expenses only we should take so 20 machines expenditure is 800 divided by 100 into 20 80 into 2 160 rupees come to consignee's direct expenditure proportionate ex direct expenses of consignee tarun consignee's expenditure names are available freight 950 so transportation charges 950 so one time only consignee receives goods from railway station or seaport to his go down so one time only he spends a freight expenditure on these goods means it is non recurring in nature means direct expenditure go down rent every month the consignee pays go down rent no so this is recurring expenditure repeated expenditure means indirect expenditure only direct expenditure we should consider while calculating unsold stock value so freight only we should consider and these are 950 rupees consignee spent on total machines 100 machines we are calculating 20 machines value no so 20 machines related expenditure only we want so question is on 100 machines if consignee's direct expenditure is 950 rupees on 20 machines how much 950 divided by 100 into 20 95 into 2 190 rupees are these three amounts 7850 is on sold stock value credit side we should show no for unsold stock we should write by consignment stock now come to loading adjustments 
Here, cost price we should write now. Cost price is 30,000. But invoice price we wrote 37,500. How much extra we wrote? 7,500. That is called loading. If you cancel that loading, then only correct profit comes. So how to cancel? By writing one credit set. 7,500. What to write in particular column? Same account name. Goods and on consignment. How that 7,500 came? Total goods invoice price is 37,500. Minus total goods cost price is 30,000. So difference is 7,500. Similarly, come to unsold stock value. See, here actually speaking 30,000 we should take now. Unsold stock we should calculate by taking total goods cost price. So 100 machines into 300, 30,000 is the cost price of 100 machines. But instead of taking cost price, we have taken invoice price of 100 machines now. Means even in this unsold stock also loading is there. If you cancel that loading, then only correct profit or loss in consignment business we can calculate. So credit side we wrote this unsold stock. If you want to cancel the loading in this, debit side we should cancel. No? What to write for that? Two consignment stock reserve. How it comes? We know the loading of 100 machines. No? Based on that we can calculate. On 100 machines, loading is 7500 rupees. Now unsold stock loading we want. Unsold stock is 20 machines now. On 20 machines loading is how much? 7500 divided by 100 into 20. 750 into 2. 1500. Now everything is completed. Finally we have to calculate profit or loss. For that two sets totals we should calculate. Credit amounts total is 48,150. Debit amounts total 43,490. Income is more, expenditure is less. So difference 4,660 is profit. Debit set total is less. So show on debit set 4,660. This profit we should transfer to profit and loss account. So write that. To profit and loss. Two side total, highest total 48,150. Credit side also see. So, consignment account is completed. Next, to come to consignee's account, Tarun account. Without using general entries, how to prepare this account? Credit side Tarun 32,800. Debit side we should write. From consignment account, we are taking this amount. No? So write to consignment account. Similarly, debit side Tarun 2050 credit side and 1640 for that also Tarun we wrote now. Here credit side. These two amounts we are taking from consignment account. So write that by consignment. If advance is given in the question, that advance also credit side we should show. But in present problem, advance is not given. So finally, the due amount, 32,800 minus these two amounts total, we should calculate. In rough notes, debit total minus credit total, difference is 29,110 rupees. Credit total is less, so credit set at this amount. What to write for that? In question, he is not giving how consignee paid this due amount. So our assumption is he paid through a bank draft. Therefore, for this answer, I'm writing by bank account. Two sides, highest total, 32,800 rupees. Next to come to goods sent on consignment account. See, debit side goods sent on consignment 37,500 credit side. For that, from consignment account, we are writing now. So write down that by consignment account credit side goods sent on consignment 7500 on debit side 
This amount also we are bringing from consignment account. So write that to consignment account. Finally, the difference thirty seven thousand five hundred minus seven thousand five hundred is equal thirty thousand. Debit total is less. So that thirty thousand debit side we should write. And this amount we should transfer to trading account. So ledger of Arun Kanjayanar is completed. So problem number sixteen is completed. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.